Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up our classic and we're going to make a barbecue side dish that is a staple for most barbecue dinners here in the south. We're going to make a pot of barbecue baked beans and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay guys, I've got my grill running at 250 and I'm actually using the I command today to run this but the idea here is is that this is something you would do after you've cooked a Boston butt or a brisket or something and you've got that guy off in the cooler resting for a couple hours waiting to slice it up and this is something that we can prepare after that cook on the grill so my grill's still running here at 250 so let's put these baked beans together okay we're gonna start out here with my Dutch oven and in my Dutch oven I've got three of the 28 ounce cans of Bush's regular baked beans uh, and what I did before I put these in here is I put these in a colander to drain off uh, all the extra liquid that I could because we're not gonna need that for this cook and we're gonna add a bunch of other goodness to this I've got one a uh, medium bell pepper that I finally diced. I've got a medium red onion that I finally diced and I've got two jalapeno peppers here that I have uh, finely diced also. So we're just going to scrape these guys off into our beans. And the next thing I'm going to add here is about a tablespoon or so of kosher salt and about two tablespoons of barbecue rub and then we're going to finish this off by putting in about a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce and I've got here I've got some here that I made up that we're going to use and then I'm just going to take my spoon and we're going to get this completely mixed up and I almost forgot here we're going to add also a half a cup a brown sugar to that the brown sugar you can put in here as much or as little as you like but if you're using a sweet barbecue sauce you might want to use a little bit less brown sugar if you're using a tangy barbecue sauce you might want to use a little more so now that we've got these mixed up we're going to take them to the grill yeah you knew I was just messing with you right we left something out that we really want to put in there we've got some leftover pulled pork this is something I always like to put in my baked beans. I've got about uh, maybe three quarters of a pound of it here chopped up. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to let me forget that. So we're definitely going to stir that in. I was just messing with you. Yeah, I see if you was paying attention. Okay, while our grill's still cruising along here at 250 degrees, we're going to put this Dutch oven on. And we're going to do the first part of this cook with the lid on. I want to get these things nice and bubbly and get them really going so we're going to go for 90 minutes there with the lid on okay we've been going here for about 90 minutes and i'm going to take the lid off the dutch oven and we're going to give this a stir and we're going to let this guy ride in the smoke here for about another 90 minutes and this is going to thicken up a good bit as we go and it's going to take on a good bit of smoke and during the next 90 minutes I'm going to come give it a stir about once every 30 minutes or so okay guys we've been going another 90 minutes here these guys are ready they are absolutely beautiful and they smell amazing so gotta give this a try this is a really easy add-on side dish for your barbecue meal and I've made enough here to feed an army you don't need to make that much maybe you can cut the recipe in half or even less this is enough probably to serve 12 to 16 people a small you know half cup side dish of this so give this a try let me know what you think join us on Facebook facebook.com slash Kamado Joe follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Kamado Joe until next time this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.